And now we get to find out the team that will meet them there. Cologne, one last time tonight. Let me hear you! They put up a fantastic streak on it. They refused to fall to Heroic here yesterday. So we're going to wait on anxiously to see how they open up to begin their run in the semis. They're going to go in a Monacy here with the Dolberettas. One kill from the man. That's the bomb away. And Monacy starting strong. In his debut at the Lanxis, he's in for two right now. Any more for Monacy. This bomb, they've got to get it. So Monacy's going to keep getting fed. Smoke, that'll lock off his teammate. Monacy's got to fight alone, but that's where he does his best work. Three shots come through off the dual Barettas and the bomb gets retrieved. They don't have to commit. Nico lost in the mist. Astralis look elsewhere. They look back. Donut wrap. And Nico pounces. He strikes from behind. No one's looking right now. There's a timing. There's a chance. Device shot in the back of the head. And back behind the site. Hunter waits to surprise. Buzz is a dead man planting. And G2 take the pistol round. What a debut for Monacy. What a first round to play. What a debut for Monacy. That's no surprise. This kid's first arena match all the way back in Katowice in 2022. 45 kills in his opening map, Harry. He was not shy to the stage. And G2 needed this guy's fire more than ever in a matchup like this. And look at what G2 is staring at right now. The lane. The triple set up. They're, they're all looking down towards red. They know that Astralis want to try and use this room. And so they're ready to deal with it. Nico and Monacy on the angle. Don't let Astralis in. Lane oh. going to try his hand at it. But Monacy on a tear to open up this series. Even more wanted from Monacy in the round. But it's device to reply. That will keep this even. Astralis, we say they like to use a lot of the clock here, but they don't have a lot of time left. That bomb's got to go down now, and flashes Ooh. start to rain over long. G2 are pressuring this. They won't be able to deny that plant, but Borum's got to cook up something special here. JKS oh. will not let him have it. And Hooksy rises up to his feet. Yeah, say what you want about the in-game leader of G2. He certainly brings energy. Going to try get him with the pistols here. Three players for G2 on this side of the map ready to respond. And as Nico is jiggling oh. down towards the ramp, that first swing. Well, that's the signal to go now Good if luck. you're Astralis. Hooksy's got his work cut out for him. Can't find a thing. Borup with that scavenged gun from ramp puts it to work. G2, this is not what they wanted. This was pistols on the other side. And they might have to save. They might not have a say in this round, right? Two instant kills into a bomb site, and already money on the line. This early in the game, G2 throw in the towel. He now is someone that we have to pay very close attention to in this series. And that's just a crazy statement to make, right? Not just when you consider the lack of stage experience, even though some players can lean into that. We've already talked about Monacy. Even just general experience. This guy's only been playing on professional teams for you know, two years now. And now Astralis can look to play around this. I know they've got good real estate. Monacy going to fire off with the AWP, and Stair is on the receiving end. Monacy has come into this game with a point to prove. And now he's looking to be mobile on that AWP, moving over towards A. He's going to be here in good timing Will Monacy. So even though Hunter's dead, you've still got this AWP to worry about. And this guy's been hitting different. Monacy moves in, looking to level the playing field. Borup is up close. Is he ready for this? Monacy's got to be lightning fast. Oh. It's just wow. the tag. The quick reactions betray him. He wall bangs Borup down to 18 HP. And that should write the story of this round. Borup, three kills to the good. Doing it all for Astralis. Just incredible space taking for Borup, right? Sure, he gets a, a fortunate span through the smoke onto JKS, but he was so sure of the room that gave him. He pulled his pistol out, he ran through that smoke, and that space just leads Astralis into the site. They take it clean. The Vice and Buzz finish the job, and they break G2's money into pieces. Gonna try and push up through the cave. Stair has been overwhelmed here across the last couple of rounds. So let's see if he's got it. Well, they don't know. I don't think no. Oh, good check. Must have heard the burn in the molly. The nade helps as well. Stairs on for three. And why not make it four? Right. Go get the ace there. Go on, may as well. May as well give it a try. They're only on pistols. We'll blame F steal it. 
That's he, the big question. He's been known to love an eco frag. Eco's Ooh, no, no, tight. no. They're letting Stair get it. They're letting Stair get it. Oh! Yeah. All of them for Stair. And I love that from Blaine F. He just says, don't worry, man. I know where he is. You come collect. You come and get. The device taking a cheap peek. That's one way to do it. Meanwhile, Monacy gets naded back at B. Oh, but you don't give him an inch because he'll take a mile. Stair with a wiggle and G2 with a five on four. Monacy's rotating around with the orb. Hunter holds the line and one kill out of him would have been enough here. He goes back in for a little bit more and that's when Blame F finds him. We might get a clash of these orpers. The mid lurk is crucial. One from Devices AWP. A step in the right direction. Now they want to join up with Borup. Nico is aggressive out through middle, but he shouldn't be able to catch this timing onto Device, and so that will just slide right by G2. Honestly, he's very far removed. The spam yeah. is nearly there for Hooksy. Enough to buy time, but not enough to deal wow. with Blame F. There's Nico on the wraparound. Suddenly, it is all eyes on Device as it was meant to be. 1v3 from the ramp, flanked from behind. Nico is closing the net right now, so Device has got to hit every fight, every shot, every chance they give him, and the backstab comes through. Nico locks Device out of it. G2 leave nothing to chance. Buzz out here in towards the A site. He put up an incredible round here yesterday. Looking to relive that Device over here in middle. Applies even more pressure. Device is getting flanked. And Hunter's Hunter. left in the sight alone. Hunter's got the bomb away. And now it's just playing that. Wow. Hunter lives up to his name. He tracks down that bomb. And at the perfect timing. Hoping that no one is this brazen. But he fights Device and comes out better. As he rotates back into the window, the big question is, is he ready for Borup? He has Hooksy nearby. Borup even holds the shot there. Honestly, out in middle, loves these donuts fights. Loves to try and be involved from this position, but isn't going to get to in the round, not yet. It's a super awkward for Blame. He's so out of position. They may have B, but if Hooksy keeps the pressure on, Blame is going to be so late to this round. They're flanking this. Oh, Hooksy with the spam again. Babe. What's that from Stair? Never even sees him, no traces, nothing to clue stare in. Honestly, and JKS left up in this, they've got a 2v2 over inside of the site, and Blame S blank is negligible right now. He's not going to discover this, so... Sure, he'll be able to play in, try to play around this bomb a little later in the round, but if G2 still want to attempt this, it's not off the table, and now JKS brings them back into the fold. And a spam, forces a reposition out of Buzz. Gets him out in the open, Blame F on that wrap round though. Will make the AK sing for Justin Savage as he moves in. He's Deal got a Molly first man. Oh, now can look to get on this bomb. He's sticking it. Molly short. JKS gets all the kills, but none of the glory. As Blame F snipes that round, return to sender. It's a bit of revenge. And I feel safe with Nico with the Deagle. Smokes are going to start to come down. JKS flashed forward for a fight and re-smoked as well. This is a spanner in the works for Astralis. They're getting held back. Bob has to make an active play, and JKS deals with it very well. Three CTs on the site. Astralis know they're walking into danger. Hooksy buying time on B. Perfect stall. And Astralis given no options here, no route. 40 seconds. G2 are even retaking space, and Astralis have one belt of util left. 3v3 over towards the donut, and it's one that G2 look to win out. The bomb gets away from Astralis. 30 seconds stare. Might have looked good to open this up. Might have aced him round two, but everyone's just looking at you as you try to navigate your way to a save, and not even that's guaranteed. Yeah, G2 dead. are looking to punish, and they will come in, boxing him in from all sides. Stare with nowhere to go is iced out. And like I that. think right now the individuals are very much there. But to make matters worse, I think it's been a very well-called game so far out of Hooksy. Very measured, never overstepping. JKS will get tested here. One Ooh. kill from the man, but the Glocks tap him out of the round. You don't want to lose to Glocks here if you're G2. That might take the wind out of their sails. And so Monacy slams the hammer down. It's just Borup left. 
There's no love for Bar up here, not from G2 anyhow. Every single second that is made available. Hunter has to be the hero. This must end day. He's gonna try and take red off of Hootsy, but he doesn't let them in. And now he's got support. Now he's got Nico set up to cover him. And with JKS winning these fights out through main, things are really heating up for Astralis. There's 10 seconds left. Go. Even as they wrap through the spawn, even as they get close to the site, they've still got to get past this donut hole. And even the shots connecting there is right. enough to rob this round away. Blame F can't do a thing. And he might even fall off the time here. Yeah. Hunter oh. can't find him. How does Blame do it? Cheeky bugger. Looking to shut out his old IGL from the complexity days is JKS. Ooh. Blame F goes up, goes over, finds Justin, and so now the site opens up. Monacy will rain out with one. That's the AK removed. Borup's quick uh -oh. with the Deagle, oh. and Monacy's getting wrapped. Borup's right here. Monacy's got to be real quick if he wants to hold on, and he doesn't like these angles with the AWP. Doesn't want to occupy them, trying to make life as easy as he can. One from Monacy, but another know. man didn't know that Borup was still alive. And so now he's armed with the AWP. Now Astralis teed up in this post-plant 3v2, guns retrieved. Nico and Hunter. Oh, they found a way back in. Borup tapped out. It's a family matter here, but time's getting away from G2. Hunter and Nico have got to be switched on. What? And from nowhere, they'll manage it. Heads will roll as the cousins go bowling. How do they sneak that through? That's madness. I think I think every bone in Astralis' body told them that they'd done enough to have won that round. Yeah, the swing out main, you think it's fine. You think you've got nothing wrong. But that gives G2 just what they desire. It's the fact that it comes in so late as well, right? And that's very much by design, right? Uh, you you kind of can't believe that if you're Astralis. Yeah, even Astralis, these younger players talking in interviews about how the Vice pumps them up. He gives them energy. He gives them confidence. They're going to need it. B pop at 40 seconds. Entry into A. They were leaving. They were trying to bail. Oh, they wanted no. to go back to the other bomb site. And JKS has remained a rock inside of main. This is going to be a problem for Astralis. Yeah, Flash is going over, but he knows this push is out of donut. And this crossfire is set up already. JKS doesn't need a helping hand yet, but it's going to move in at just the right time for Hunter. Nice Cancelled out by Borup. JKS is left to his own devices. Oh, dear. And there is the man ringing out with one. Honestly, moves oh. up, but it's the vice with the reply. And Astralis are looking for a way back in right at the end of this half. Device, we were waiting for that round. That round to show us why he is so great. And out with the swing, the King's back in the building, Device, three kills in the round, why not make it fall? And pace may appear as they creep through main. We've got a double setup here, Blame on a weird angle. Julie's fight back, Monacy bears the brunt as Blame finds three from the front. He's looking for every single one. Where did this come from? Big oh! Benjamin! He's back! And he knows that that round re-energizes Astralis. He stands up, he savors that moment. An ace in the pistol with the doolies looking clean. Blame F has struggled to find a lot of impact in this game so far, but that one, that is big for Astralis, for the morale of this team when you look down the line and you see Blame F. G2 with the pistols, Astralis like to play a slow game. G2 do not, Nico running amok. Oh, wow, what an opening. Device with the reply. One bullet from the Tech-9 gets them in, but it's Device looking to shut them out. Not for long as Monacy finds it. Oh, Ooh, dear. That's nearly, that's nearly something for Monacy, but stare. The Blame's got to get to out call in the G2 squad. And that's oh, hard, they'll, they'll use Brawn. Stair fights his way in, but it's swiftly cancelled out. JKS from down in mid returns this to even odds. Wow. Hooksy dead on the push up over to the lane. Hunter now takes his steed and will respond with one. It is a brawl for this lane control. And even though Monacy returns that 2v2, he's making moves here. Stair did miss the info. 
Monesty's got a bit of a gap here. Monesty's got a chance. If he can find this long kill, the round opens up. Suddenly G2 are in pole Ooh. position, but it's Stair to swing out and deny it. Monesty had too much on his plate. And so now JKS has got to do it alone, and Stair will not let that happen. What a round from the star of Astralis. These B pushes are lane take. They need a really good flash to get him off this one. Oh no. Oh my god, he's full blind but gets out with one. Devices to now concede a little bit of room. Suddenly Buzz is under a lot of pressure. Oh. Buzz responds to it well with a bit of help from his friends. Device, another in the round and now he goes hunting for Monacy. The big green looks to elude capture. Monacy looks to get away. Blame F might deny that fact. This AWP is right there. Oh dear. Monacy might be spotted. The blame does not go back in to try remove that AWP still. G2 smoke off the short side. They're coming through. Borup and Stair have got to hold on. And that flash wrecks Borup. It left Stair hung out to dry up on top of the boost. Monacy missed shot on the AWP. But do Astralis even want to try and contest this? It looks like they're already writing it off. A reassuring round for G2 on a redemption here on the T side. And a redemption in the tournament as well. Blame F is heard leaving this A bomb site. G2 right now, there's still time to reconsider. They don't have to commit to this. Are they going to give a bit of room to Hunter? He's all the way through the A site. They might change their mind here. They're going to try and join back up with him. G2 have left this one down to the wire, but oh, if Hunter can get die. another kill over yeah. in this, then he might just look to win the whole damn thing. Hunter smoking their way. He denies the rotate. Hunter has single-handedly looked to win this round for G2. That kill throws it all into question. So suddenly the game's afoot again. Hooksy with the plant. Barup's on a big wrap round, but Nico's holding this oh. and not the man you want to face. One tap from Nico. Hunter hears all. And remember, that's the fight that got him in, the fight that never even needed to happen. Even though Astralis have looked to recover to, to, towards like the, the start of the second half, this is the dream scenario for G2 fans. You've got your trifecta, you've got these three players that are Lights out, and Hunt is very much a part of that conversation. Over oh. here in mid, him and Hootsie look to open up. They try to battle for this mid control. It's hanging in the balance. The nades rain in. Oh, they claim the life. The Borup will get hounded down. JKS takes middle under his wing. Device, hello. Through the B doors. Honestly, never even knew what hit him. And Device wants more out of the round. Never knowing when to quit. That's this guy's whole story, and now it's just JKS. Sure, he finds that one on a blame F, but look at the minimap, look at the bomb. It's a long They've way away. It. They've read it, they know exactly, it, it wasn't seen on the minimap, they know it must be back in T-spawn. Device knives out, he knows exactly what JKS is running for. Instead, they've taken a lot of time away from JKS in the clutch. And even now, no corner is safe. The backstab is coming in, and Stair has got the round in oh. the palm of his hand. Puts a leash back on JKS. And that is some real smarts. And this game is going the distance. Oh, Device is on his off angle over towards B, but G2 are coming his way. And then oh. they're waiting. That's a collateral out of Device. Stewart. But he can't find any more. It's just damage onto Nico. Will that be the one that gets away? stair has got support over in Cave, but for now, they're, they're trapped here. They're locked in. And look at the plant. Look at the post bar more so. G2 have taken long. They've taken Spore back. They've forced a full flank for Astralis. Buzz is living on borrowed time. And what though kits in this round, G2, they just have so much position, so much utility, locking Astralis out of ever attempting it till the clock's already half gone. Oh, the timing. Oh! Hunter's back on it. And now for Astralis, usually they would look to save here, but they're so deep, they're so committed, they've got to get out alive! And now Hunter is not letting that happen! They are the prey, hunted down, and mercilessly executed. Astralis sent packing, running for the hills, it's G2! Edging ever closer! Through their fingers, but poised and prepared for a 2-0, and look at these timings. That's the make or break, right?
felt like Hunter's been in so many of these swing fights. You kill him, you have an opportunity, you die. The round's already lost in that three on three. Doubt yourself, do it again. And this time, Device doesn't have the orb. This time, he's only got the MP9. Him and his teammate just locked out over in cave. G2 keep running this back. So fruitful, it keeps working. Why bother stopping till Astralis can fix it? Again, it's just trying to get out. Astralis surrendering after a single kill. They were double cave side. G2 making the perfect read once more. Popping into it. Essentially MTB. Just Nico being allowed to run up the B ramp. Being supported by Util from Hooksy. When they let him have that much freedom, that much space, he'll give you the results both times. He's opened up in these B plays and they've gone on to win the round. Now they stand. But if it works, it works. And right now the results almost locked in for G2. Three shots to end this map. Pat Blame is the first to fall. Hunter, invincible, invulnerable in middle. Hooksy hounds them down towards B, pushing Astralis even further back. Device goes forward, but into his demise, Monacy waits. And G2, they can feel it now. It's within reach. Gotta give credit to the G2 game that's been played here. Not only have they had their stars shining bright, but I think it's been a fantastically cold game. Never refusing to give in to the Astralis squad, always keeping them guessing. Great knowledge of the protocols. G2 have looked stellar. And oh. now Nico gets the easiest yeah. kill to close this out. Nico rising in the occasion. Hunter and Monacy in fantastic form. And even with a few glimmers from Device on the other side, it's not enough. G2 go into their map. Inferno coming up next. Looking great. The debuts have been beautiful for Ilya. He looks to keep them coming, as does Nico. The head to head removes devices. Consistent voice, the experienced member of this team. Instead, Borup has got to deliver a miracle. And he's not set up to win this. He's been spotted out in the apartments. Astralis rotate in, but Nico's already taken space away. Dealt with in the library. As looks to bring Astralis back into the fold here. They have taken his time. Astralis are not moving quickly. They're clearing everything. G2 could be anywhere. But as they've nullified these options, they know they've got them trapped in the site. G2 have had a lot of time to set up these post plants, to set up these crossfires, and so Astralis have got their work cut out for them. Hunter and JKS ring out with the first couple, and they know that on the back of that, they've won this pistol round. JKS looks to drive that home. And Blame F is left saving dual Berettas to open up this second map. It's G2 pick it up right where they left off. And how many rounds did G2 win off of that T side just by finding one kill? Hooksy leads the charge. Ooh, oh, oh, digged out. Uh -oh. One kill from Stair. The rest of G2 are a little slow to arrive and he's been allowed to reposition. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh no. Stair in with a double. And now he's got support. Now he's got his friends. They've all moved in and they take the line. Take these firing lines to lend a helping hand to Stair. Oh. Borup just in the nick of time. One out of Nico. Sure. Him and JKS have got to cook up the impossible. Nico doing all he can. Nico from nowhere. Three kills in the round as he tries to battle oh. back and he gets it down in the 1v1. No just way. Miss shot from the back. Oh! Nico! First they knew his name in the Land Cafes, then in the Balkans, and now they know it worldwide. The ace in the second round to keep G2 in this. Where did that come from? From nowhere. In the mist, in the madness and a Glock to close a 1v2. You don't see that every day. Decking device in the final frag. The stars align, but not for Astralis this time. G2, they won that grand final. Under TSM, under Dignitas. 
The Vice has fallen in the semis many times, and it may happen again if Nico keeps unleashing this beast, this raw aggression back to B, looking for a second. Fortunately, Stair crosses in just in time. The smoke's come down, locking him alone in the bomb site. Hootie gets a spot, and he gets a shot. G2 end the round in two kills. It's going swimmingly by the script, by the book. And Astralis must play by the numbers as they leave the site. And here's the thing, Astralis often play these retake rounds very safely, very much by the numbers. That's the style that Blame F likes to call, and that's even more par for the course here on Inferno. But as we go down the stretch, eventually Astralis might need to attempt some of these rounds where they're on the back foot. Ooh, missed shot. Gonna try and play through this. Yes. Throws himself into the fight, but can't ah. elude Nico. Oh, oh my, my god, this is so wild. Through the molly, through the flames, not respecting the util, playing with fire, but it might be Astralis getting burned as Nico puts another on the tally. And that's it, that's the round. Two kills from Nico on the entry. And G2 keep it flawless to open up this T side. I know this is the full save. No one's even on the bomb. No one was on the bomb for a solid 20 seconds. They want to remove all these guns. They move oh. in right at the end and they knock oh, out dear. two of them. That is a big problem for Astralis. They're still going to be able to stomach it. Maybe that smoke is an invitation. Oh! A taste of your own medicine, perhaps. Blind fire from Stair takes out the hard hitter of G2 and they must go back to what is now essentially an empty site. Just a vice here. Been here since the start of the round. Has to stand the test of time. Device with the orb. Oh, finds the man up in the apartment. Go device on. finds more! And he just keeps on giving! Only Hunter left now. 1v4 and the tides change. Astralis finally cook up the winning solution. The vice gets switched on. They won't have that orb this time. No one in position to pick it up. G2 go back to pace into this A site. They're coming quickly. Device is tucked into a corner here. AK Han primed and ready to go, but only one kill from Device. Bar up in the pit is going to be the guy who's got to rise to the occasion, and he can't. Cancelled out. out, Nico oh. making plays, making moves. Astralis at 2v3. And a lot of times they would look to save here. So you can win rounds you shouldn't, but you need the guns to do it. Blame an important surviving kill. Still G2 hold their heads high. They can buy round this. Most experienced man, and so you, we look at him to be the one to bring Astralis back into this game. There's one kill from his AWP, but gonna need more before all is said and done, because G2, they're unrelenting, they're coming through this smoke. Up into Banana now. Device is trying to make a play. Gonna rely on Stair, drawing some Don't attention off of him. Device and what? Stair combined for a killer piece. They will spam out Device. Blame F gets down oh. off the boost. That gets awkward. Only gonna force them wide, and now... G2 are on their way to a bomb plant here. Hunter's gone Hunter. hunting. He wants to get involved. In a two on three, you can't play scared, and so he's trying to make moves to win them the round. He gets oh, yeah. into this corner. He knows they've made it all the way through the ruins. That's what JKS has got to try and keep held down. Got to hold his nerve here. Hunter with one, and JKS alongside him, looking to lock it for G2. Just Buzz left in yeah. this, and Hunter washes over him. G2 are on a tear. Nothing feels impossible. Nothing feels. Astralis might never be given that chance. G2 set up for an apps pop here. Nothing complex, but they make it look so easy. Mac 10 to open, down into the pit. Blame F stands the test of time. Gonna need a bit more out of him before all is said and done. This is the bomb. This is rotating in. Bomb looking to get out now on the back of JKS, and he finds that pit player. Deagle up through the short side. Bars, one kill to his name, and Stair oh. finds one in the meantime. Nico versus Stair. Astralis hunting desperately for their second round here. And to do that, They've got to take down the big bad wolf of G2, the man looking to end this fairy tale run. 
Stare with the read, the hide. And Nico with the long flank, but will he climb over the graveyard? 30 seconds to find a player or find a bomb. He knows he's here. Nico huffs, Nico puffs, but it's Stare who blows his house down. Astralis survive once again. They do it with pistols. Second aid. They're going to put both these rifles very low. He spotted him. He saw him right below the oh, smoke. Nico. Stairs calling into the unknown. And Nico bites back. Oh, he's lost him. Flame swap sides in the smoke. And Monacy comes through with the kill. Is it enough? Astralis are here at the door. Answering spawn. Spamming away. One kill. And that's enough to bring Astralis back into this round. A lengthy flank up through Banana can start to come into fruition now. Device moving in. Astralis on all ends of this site. Look to close the net now. And with JKS dead, Hunter's got to do it alone. This is not easy. They, they see him. And Device goes hunting. A second successful retake for Astralis. They don't have that third gun to offer up answers. Careful. Yes, tagged in that smoke. His teammates have already started to go. Moving in, Hootsie leads the charge. In behind him, the rest of the team. Hootsie falls flat, but it's Monacy. Boom. Too open, Nico taking space at spawn in mid. JKS dies, and now Nico's got to do this alone. This is where he does his best work. He gets it down to the 1v1. Borup is shaking in his boots right now. When you see the name you're up against, you know what this guy is capable of. And so Borup cannot doubt himself for even a second here. Nico cuts off all the info. Full silent. Borup on the bomb. Borup on the bomb. What if you never gave no! Nico the chance? He sticks it! And so that's how Astralis looked to level this game up. What if you never give Nico the fight? So another relief of pressure for G2 and a five on four and Borup maybe the next fall because Monacy's found him with a pixel shot. One of the first orbs we've seen in this T side. He goes flying oh, out no. into the site and Monacy doesn't need it as he takes down the vice. They want to try and remove these guns right at the end. He goes oh. off. One gun out. Just buzz left. He looks good to get away. They might just find him, but he's going to survive with that M4 intact. That's something for Astralis here in the final round of this first half. Suboptimal for Astralis. No orb for device. And Monacy finally makes his sing. Not every day you do that to device. So G2, a moment where it felt like they were lost, lacking, but Molly. now picking back up the pace. Molly forces Nico to take a swing here. He's Ooh, fine with that. And he likes it, he thanks them for it. That Molly pushed him forward. That Molly beckoned him in. He was fantastic on the opening map for this semi-final. He can find something over towards Long. He's looking to make this happen for G2. One man still to beat in the A-hold. It's Borup tucked in. Smoked off at Moto. He tries to get ahead of it. But this gives more room to Hunter. More opportunities for Hunter to get involved. And as he moves through this smoke, that one's <laughs> free. Can't save today, Astralis. But too far away to even consider the possibility. A moment of doubt. A moment of opportunity. And as Astralis group back up in middle, Monacy hears the footsteps. Come hunting, come hounding, and come knifing, but it's denied by Device. It won't cost them a thing. Nico's here to ensure the round cannot get weird, and Device will not be given the opportunity nor satisfaction. Right at the end of the half, pollution in the night sky blocks out the stars of Astralis, and G2 are only rounds away from the grand finals of Cologne. And Astralis ride their way back into this BO3. It relies on a pistol. I feel like the dual Berettas have often Ooh. fared well, but not in this round. Okay. Borup and Buzz are the ones to kickstart this for Astralis. 
despite Danish in-game leaders clashing back at B, Astralis don't seem interested in returning to that early site. Buzz drops in, and Monacy drops him. Lau oh, Blame and can't. Deadly. Blame can't die here. He's like their only thing that gives them any stake over this B site, oh. and so he won't. Rings out with a kill on a Hooksy back at the spawn. Just like that, Astralis are on their way to a pistol round. Bomb planted and a 2v4. Nico and okay. Monacy are the ones still left in this, though. It's not impossible. The stars that burn the brightest going out the quickest. Monacy falls and now Nico left up in it alone. Wow. Blame F silences him and it's another big pistol to open up the second half for the captain of Astralis. Yeah, you say he needs, he needs the calls, but what if he's got the kills? Blame. Now, usually Astralis like to roam around uh -oh. the map, but they kind of have to Ooh. follow through with this A play, and that's not the start they wanted. They've given up all the real estate over at Banana, so all they have is A. All they have oh. is the hope of this A play, and Monacy's extinguishing that right now! Two from his Deagle. Astralis can't go back. It's uncharted waters. This is going to take too long to clear. Stairs starting to make those moves now. This all hinges on finding a wrap through the spawn. Nico lies in wait, his deagle, a thing of legend. Tag onto device, this is so quickly going awry for Astralis. Go. Stairs gonna have to come through this. Oh. And Nico lies in wait. And look what happens when you don't. And so it's Monacy with his deagle, rising through the rankings already. Since getting onto the CT side, this is where he's going to look to do his best work. This is where he's going to be the most involved. Double set up in the right Ooh. place, right time, and Monacy will hold the line. Okay. Looking to make this round his, looking to lead his okay. mark, Monacy! Four kills from the short side, leaves it all on Blame F. And Monacy sure knows how to leave an impression here. What's Blame supposed to do in this one on three? Astralis were all in on this round, so he still wants to give it a go. The G2 have pulled nearly everyone over. Hunter's still down in the pit here, lies in wait, and that's free. Blame F doesn't check it. Monacy does the heavy lifting. Back and forth in the game could give them something to hold as hope. It's snuffed out by Monacy. So what a time he's having in this second half. Fight over towards Banana. Stair. Good time for him to find the opener, but can he get any more? The nades rain in. They make life awkward for him. Things are heating up for Stair. Drops the smoke, but tries to play ahead of it with the flashbang. And that's where Nico gets his revenge. Four on four now, and Astralis, the only real estate they're left with is this presence over in top mid. Last time we saw them in this position, it forced them into an A play, and they ended up running out of time in the 2v4. Monacy once again repels this play out through the long side. And Nico's back just in time. Even getting curious, this could break Astralis. The drop is loud, Buzz, inexperienced, caught out as Hunter re-aggresses for the Lurker. He saw what he did to Heroic, and Hunter will allow none of it. Device needs to break back onto Nico. He is all that stands in this site. Blame nowhere to be seen. Back in spawn, waiting for a mistake. G2 won't give it over. Even Nico won't make a move. He waits for his teammate, and they strike together. That might be the round. Said, done. But Blame. Blame doesn't attempt these. Blame doesn't like attempting these. He's not going to. It's been all G2. And so the semi-finals curse for Device. Looking to remain consistent. This now means you've got to start reacting to that info. You've got to pick up the pace out into middle. Astralis fixate their sights on the A play. JKS down in the pit. Sees them on the short side, lights up the first man in. JKS might be blind, but Hooksy delivers. Hunter from the site backs him up. And now it's just Blame F. This hero gun thrust into the clutch. And on the cross, Monacy locks out Blame F. You will not be the hero today. He makes the most of every moment on this stage, doesn't Monacy? And what's so wild is just how this series has flowed, how in the first half it was all Nico. 
he sat 20 kills deep where his teammates were still lagging behind in single digits. Now you have Monacy uplifting G2 on this CT half. Nico's clearing out the entirety bit of 30 seconds. You peak banana, you win the you win the round. You know what's going on. Astralis are funneled into the death. Monacy, he is the death. He is the guy. He is that man. One kill from the AWP. And Monacy waits for more. Astralis, it's not just time they're up against. It's this beast at the back of the site with the orb. JKS and Hunt have finished the deal. And G2, one round away. Astralis have got nothing left. And we're finally seeing the limits of Blame F. You're seeing the limits of this Astralis squad unfurl right before your very eyes. Yeah. Every move that G2 has made here as we've continued down the stretch has seemingly perfectly countered Astralis. Nico flashed in for a fight atop Banana. Once again, this guy, the info he's been getting, sure, they've not been fighting and they've been largely dodging Nico. But in staying out of his line of fire, they find themselves in Monacy's, in Hunter's, in JKS, who finds one. Monacy pushing Ooh. through, silenced by Blame F. And so now it is just Hunter. The bomb is away from Astralis, but they're going to be allowed to grab it. G2 opposing for a retake right now. They've got everything they need to go for it. Util out for Hunter. He's got one flash and a smoke to try and make this play happen. They're going to assemble the boost. They let Nico. Be that first incision stare, oh. looks to make a play. Hunter cancels it out. Is he really believing in the 1v2? Well, Device doesn't seem to think so. Their first round since a pistol. Their first taste of success. There's not many options left anymore. And as the util reigns in, Hooksy is that only line of defense over towards B. Even one for one's not enough, but Hunter, he picks up the lurk. The first to fall. Astralis make their way into the site. Hooksy allows it. He spams back through the smoke. He stays alive for the retake. And this is one that G2 certainly should consider. No late lurks. JKS assures them of that. But they're on the clock. That's a fact. Smoke goes over. Monacy oh, set up the rifles. That's going to cut out Device. He, he kind of has to go play ahead of that now. And so that's going to force him into these awkward engagements as G2 move through the spawn. Device scoped up, can't see the see close it. player, what? but he flicks back in time. Blame F has got his back. Astralis might be able to hold on. Blame F deleted. It's going to fall to Device. Trying to make this happen. Oh! He gets him off the bomb. And one more round. Astralis will stay alive. It was done. It was dead in the water. They were defusing. That's the material cost of that round. It brings them back into the game mentally. They don't have a lot to work with. Looking to the future for G2. And Monacy takes mid. One misstep can cost you everything. And Hunter is here to provide. That sinking feeling of realization for Astralis creeping through the brains of two. They rely on their team to get back into B. And G2 closed the door. It's just about not making a mistake. I think this was the, the worst possible way the round could have started for Astralis. That doomsday clock ticks closer and closer to midnight for Astralis. Stair tries to make a play. Stair, at this point, all you've got is plays to make. And as he roots through the ruins, coming in on this backstab, he might get there just in time. Hoopsy dies, sure, but it's Nico, the man that was teed up to try and win this. Ah, Nico will! The clock strikes midnight on Astralis' Cinderella story. With Device lifting the trophy in Cologne will always be a fairy tale. The big bad wolf in Nico on the other side moves into the grand final. G2 slam Astralis back down to reality. And that triple threat of Monacy, Hunter, and Nico, they are in fighting form. They are in final form. Redemption arc of the back of major commiserations. Hooksy. Herald, the Herald delivers a harrowing message to Astralis. Out calls Blame F, who takes down Kadian.
And G2, the big bad wolf, look to run on against ENDS tomorrow in the grand final for Intel Extreme Masters Cologne.